Hi, I'm Amy and this is How We Homeschool. Uh, today I'm coming to you from inside our closet and I'm going to show you some of the library books that I've gotten for the girls um, for preschool, kindergarten, and first grade. So first I have some of the books that we've gotten from the, these are books that we've gotten from the library. Um, I don't like to own a lot of things kind of minimalist in that sense. Here are a few of the things that I have gotten from the library for preschool. So uh, we got The Song and Dance Man by Karen Ackerman. It is a Caldecott Medal Award winner. It's got very pretty illustrations. It's illustrated by Stephen Gamel. Uh, Jim Arnosky's Raccoon on His Own. Jim Arnosky does really great uh, nature books. Um, he's got some that are for older children as well. I don't know if he does anything for adults. Beautiful illustrations. David McPhail's Mole Music. Ano's Counting Book, Mitsumasa Ano. This one just goes through and counts. It has the little counters and the numbers, and you count different things in the story. Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole by, or, by Wong Herbert Yi. It's a little more words, a little more in depth of the book. Hi, Harry. The story. The Moving Story of How One Slow Tortoise Slowly Made a Friend by Martin Waddle, illustrated by Barbara Firth. Yes. The Treasure Chest by Dominique Fulda. One, two, three peas by Keith Baker. Also, Elemento Peas, um, a book by him that is about letters. I really like his, I really like his bright colors. Really beautiful book. Got Ashley Bryan, All Things Bright and Beautiful. So this is the, this the hymn. Is it a hymn? All Things Bright and Beautiful, and it just goes through with these really beautiful illustrations and goes through the hymn has the music. Maybe I'll see if Charlie can play that on the piano for us. So those are the books I have so far for our first week of preschool, which will be starting Monday. Today is Thursday, um, and we're going to be starting school on Monday. We just got back from vacation, and I like to start everything on a Monday. I don't know. If I don't start on Monday, then I don't start. So... So we'll be starting preschool on Monday. So those are the books for preschool. Okay, so the books I got for kindergarten for school. Um, my kindergartner... No, I'm sorry. I did not get any books for kindergarten yet. Kindergarten, uh, the first 10 days is all about creation. And um, there aren't any books recommended. So I'll just be reading uh, her some of the books I got for my preschooler. As well as any books we have around the house. Um... I didn't get her any specific books for school for the first two weeks. Uh, but my first grader will be learning about uh, insects. And so here are some of the books I got her. Wiggle and Waggle by Carolyn Arnold, illustrated by Mary Peterson. Got all about two worms and what they do. The Little Red Ant and the Great Big Crumb, a Mexican fable retold by Shirley Climo, illustrated by Francisco X. Mora. If I Were an Ant by Amy Moses. This is a rookie reader, so it might have words that she can try and read along with. Uh, this is a Let's Read and Find Out science book. I love these. This one is Ant City. It's written and illustrated by 
Arthur Doros. Uh, this was Ned's New Home by Kevin Sissing. About, uh, worm who's looking for a new home. And he tries different fruits out. His apple gets all rotted. And he tries different homes until he finds a new apple. Is, are you a snail? by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Got some pretty good pictures. Talks about what makes a snail a snail. Bob and Otto by Robert O. Brule. Pictures by Nick Brule. A caterpillar and a worm. They talk about the differences between the two. This is one I haven't read yet. How to Walk an Ant by Cindy Derby. It just looks fun. I love the wild hair on the little girl. Could definitely be one of my childs. Then they have Two Bad Ants by Chris Van Alsberg. Got some cool uh, illustrations from the point of view of an ant. Pretty neat. Mushroom in the Rain, adapted from the Russian of V. Suteyev by Mura Ginsberg. Pictures by Jose Arego and Ariane Dewey. And this talks about how different animals find shelter under mushrooms in the rain. I think it's kind of like that story. I haven't read it yet, but I think it's kind of like that story of the hat or the mitten where all the animals come inside. So those are the books for first grade for learning about insects that we have so far. For my third and fifth grader, we will be learning in science about the amazing, about, <laughs> about our bodies, about how we're made. So I got this one uh, by Robert Winston, My Amazing Body Machine, A Colorful Visual Guide of How Your Body Works. And so this just has lots of information about different parts of the body, parts of the cell, heart, super stats, amazing body. This one is, I guess Super Stats is uh, the author. And then I like how it has all the little information boxes. I could really like that. Lots of interesting facts in here. 10,000 number of taste buds in your mouth to help you taste food. And this one has been a favorite so far. The Human Body Theater by Maris Wicks. It has a skeleton who is telling you all about the different parts of the body. It's in uh, comic book form, which my Danny loves comic books. So, like, see, it's kind of gross. I mean, he gets cut and then tells what happens. But my kids have learned a lot from it and have been telling me all sorts of facts. Talks about periods. It's chock full of all sorts of information. Then uh, we'll also be learning about Roman numerals. So I uh, got this book, Roman numerals and ordinal numbers. So just, just simply goes through different numerals. So this is Fun with Roman Numerals by David A. Alder, illustrated by Edward A. Miller. So, colorful text with keep their interest. Kind of a boring subject to read about. There's another one about, um, for our science, the cell cycle. This is by Joseph Midthun and Samuel Hitty is the 
Illustrator. This one's also kind of in comic book form. It talks about the cell cycle and DNA and chromosomes. So that'll be interesting for them to go through. We have Roman numerals 1, 2, MM, which I don't know, is that a million? I'm not that good with Roman numerals. So this is pretty interesting. It has a bunch of pigs. <laughs> so. This would be a fun way for them to get some exposure to Roman numerals. The cell systems. This one's got a lot more text, but it's got some cool close-up pictures. That's another one for them to go through. And this is a big one. Uh, Readers digest how the body works. 100 ways parents can share the miracle of the human. Parents and kids can share the miracle of the human body. It looks like it's got some experiments in it that we could do. Tons of information, great pictures. So, this one is Roman Numerals by David A. Alder, illustrated by Byron Barton. This talks about Roman Numerals. Uh, this book, we're learning about Rome, um, to go with our Roman Numerals. Ancient Rome, a mighty empire. Early Rome and the Roman Empire. It's got some pictures of different Roman art, Roman architecture, a timeline. We've got Your Body Battles a Skinned Knee. This one's also, I think, comic book year. Oh, this one is by Vicki Cobb. Photo micrographs are by Dennis Kunkel and the illustrations are by Andrew N. Harris. So. You can see it's got some illustration and also some photo micrograph mic photo micrographs. So that's pretty interesting. That looks like it'll be a fun one for the kids to look through. Food and feasts in ancient room by Phyllis Steele. Philip Steele. Um it's got information about what they ate, uh, where they cooked. And I think it also might have some, yeah, some recipes. So we could try out some Roman recipes. That'll be really fun for the girls. You can't see your bones with binoculars. A guide to, to, to your hun 206 bones by Harriet Zephyr. Art by Amanda Haley. Oh. This one has all sorts of information. That's the bones. Uh, Kingfisher Readers, uh, level three reader, Ancient Rome. This one's got more information about ancient Rome, their civilization. Scholastic, discover more human body, the visual guide to what's inside you by Stephen Setford. This has got some really great pictures, muscles and bones and blood vessels, and mites and skin. So that's really cool. Uh, I wonder, human body, open your eyes to a world of discovery. Oh, it's got a pre-worn baby. Muscles, some really good scientific pictures. Information. Uh, Hannibal, Rome's Worst Nightmare by Philip Brooks. This little chapter book. I don't really know who Hannibal is. I mean... I know who Hannibal Lecter is, so I'm kind of interested to learn also about who Hannibal was. What makes your body work? Awesome interactive science. So this will be fun. I'm going to have some experiments we can do. Some optical illusions. Stuff about hearing. Dizzy, blind spot. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, Building Blocks of Science, Cells to Organ Systems by Joseph Mithun and Samuel Hitti. Cell Cycle by him, and I also have Cells to Organ Systems by him. Find Out About the Human Body. AK the Human Body. It's got nice little blurbs of information. Different stuff. The kids to look through. Got a graphic mythologies, Roman mythology, Romulus and Remus. 
Uh, this one is in comic book form. I like to get these comic book ones for Danny because she, um, she is starting to read more chapter books, but she just doesn't have the same attention span. So those are all the books that I got for my third and fifth grader for learning about Rome and the human body so far from the library. We do have more books to pick up today, so maybe I'll do a second video. So thank you for joining me and seeing what books we got. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.